Okay, so you want to do your first ever bike race. What do you need to do? These are top five things you need to do before your first bike race. One, you need to make sure you have insurance because you could end up in hospital with broken bones. Now, depending on where you live, uh, what the race, if the race has insurance, which is generally they, they never have insurance, you've got to make sure that your insurance covers you because well, that guy smashed his face into the concrete, dental damage, bang. He, you know, so he, he got crashed out. He didn't even crash. Someone crashed him into him. So you might be the best ride in the world. Someone's going to crash you out. Look at this again. Boom. You know what I mean? Like people crash you. All right. So you might be experienced as fuck, but some person will crash you just because of fatigue or a dog or a cat or a mechanical failure or whatever. So, yeah, so you might be the best ride in the world. You need to have insurance. All right. So that's the best first thing. Um, you need to find out insurance because some countries, you, the medical bills ain't paid for. If you're in Australia, you're probably going to be okay. But if you're in the USA or Canada or Thailand or wherever, um, not many insurers are going to cover bike racing. So you need to be really clear with that unless you've got a few million dollars disposable income in the bank. But even then, you might be in intensive care, you might be in a coma, and that's like 100 grand a day, 50 grand a day at least. So make sure that you have insurance. That's the first thing. Second tip I can tell, this, I've, I've raced since December 1997. So this is not stuff I've read on the internet. This is actually real world stuff. Um, I remember, yeah, I remember one time a, a friend's girlfriend had an accident overseas and she had to get a Learjet. Seriously, she had to get, a, she was in a coma. She had a head injury on a farm um, and then she had to, had to get a Learjet. And that was like, I was almost a half a million dollar medical bill. No shit. That was my friend Dan, his girlfriend Sophie, many years back. So yeah, she had to get a Learjet from, I think it was Mexico to the US, so it's, it's yeah, you know, and this was just sort of fucking organic farm, all right, so that's an organic, if someone needs a Learjet from an organic farm, then, you know, shit can happen, so make sure you have insurance, make sure it covers bike racing, uh, so next thing is, is you have to be prepared to crash, all right, now I'm, I'm being daddy here, but you have to be prepared to crash, you have to be prepared to have time off work, broken pelvis, pins in your tibula, fibula, uh, tibia, you have to be prepared for dental damage. You have to be prepared for head injuries. You have to be going, is this really, really worth it for a plastic trophy? All right? Because this, this is what you're racing for most of the time. Especially if this is your first race, you're racing maybe for plastic. Maybe you're racing for fucking 20th position. Who knows? You're going to put your life at risk for, for pretty much fucking nothing. So just letting you know, it's bicycle racing, the most dangerous sport in the world. Nothing comes close. you got a piece of Lycra. you got a 199 gram fucking plastic helmet from China. And a bit of gloves and lycra, and then you got tarmac, you got fucking razor wire, you got fucking concrete pillars, you got cars, you got fucking truck, you got just insane. The risks are insane. Uh, these are, and these are all professional riders. These are the best of the best. All right. So if these guys are crashing, you can imagine what's going on in amateur riding. It's fucking crazy as fuck out there. So you got to be prepared to crash. You got to be prepared to have time off work, broken bones. So first step, insurance. Sex. Second step, do you want to crash? Do you want to smash? All right. If you're not willing to smash your face in the tarmac, <clears throat> cycling's not, bike racing's not for you. Do cyclocross instead. All right? so step number three would be get some experience by doing uh, bunch rides. That's the bunch, but a bunch ride's not the same as a race. Because you know? bunch rides, people wait up for you. You know, It's very casual. Cut, racing's cutthroat. Racing's where people are not your friends. It's totally different in a race. Like, I mean, it's crazy in a race. It's like, it can get pretty fucking toxic out there. Um, so, yeah, get some experience. I would recommend cyclocross racing. I'd recommend at least 20, 20 cyclocross races. You know, do a season of cross because you're in a bunch there, you're going around corners, it's pretty tight, there's crashes. And, it was, and cyclocross is a great one to you know, learn how to crash and detach from the pain because, I mean, crashing on the road fucking hurts, man. It fucking hurts. Crashing cyclocross, you generally laugh about it, you know, and people cheer on, oh, yeah, the crash. But in, on road, it fucking hurts, man. So, you know, it, it hurts slamming the fucking concrete at 10k an hour, 60k an hour, or slamming into a fucking barrier. And just getting that, you know, when you smash your helmet open and stuff like that. So, be willing to do that. So, get some experience up. I recommend cyclocross racing. Because bunch racing is, uh, you know, it is not the same as racing. It's, you learn how to draft in a bunch. You don't learn how to race in a bunch. They're totally different things. Totally different beasts. Totally different. Bunch racing... Uh, bunch racing bunch riding teaches you how to draft but even still I can tell people who have never done racing uh, in the bunch they don't really know how to hold wheel properly or tactics etc so racing teaches you tactics um, and nothing replaces that but, but I would say the best if someone really wanted to race then I would say 
don't race because road racing is so fucking dangerous. If they really wanted to do that, they'd go, Harley, I'm willing to smash my face into the ground, get a big scar on my face or a big scar on my leg, pins in my wrist. I'm willing to do that all for plastic trophy. They'd say, okay, great. I understand that. Um, I think you're crazy. And I would recommend you do a season of cyclocross racing first so you get some bike skills and you get used to getting bashed and bumped around in a bunch. Because here's the thing. People go into a bike race and then someone hits them. You know, someone crashes and hits them, and they're like, they totally flip out. They've never had that experience before. If you've never had someone bump you really hard at 60k an hour, that can be a really unnerving experience, you know. So get that experience up and, and go downhill as fast as you can go in the wet, all right? Just, just go ruthless downhill as fast as you can go, just cutting the corners, drifting, sliding. And because in a race, you have to do that even, on, even more crazy. Otherwise, you're going to lose contact and be dropped. You're going to be dropped. As soon as it flattens out, you're going to be dropped. So <clears throat> a lot of races don't have any hills, but if a, if a race has got hills in it, you have to be willing to be just, yeah, to, to fucking die on the descent. Otherwise, you're going to get dropped. You know? You're going to get dropped otherwise. So um, I remember last year in a race, I did a stage race in Thailand, and I, did, I took some risk on the descent, but I had a friend, Paul, up the front, and I was, I was, he was, all, he was very mindful that I was you know, taking it easy. So he didn't push too hard in the sense. He could sort of controlled the pace a bit. So that was that was really cool having someone up the front to control the pace, but that's really, really rare. You know, that's just, that's just not that's not real racing in terms of how cutthroat it was. So, um, But yeah, so real racing is, is fucking sketchy. It's dangerous. It's just fucking total chaos, uh, all for a plastic trophy, risking your life for it. If you want real competition, do a running race. Do a marathon. That's real shit. Um, bike racing is fun. I loved it. I love it still, but it, this learning curve is too steep for me to honestly recommend it to anyone. You know, it's just too steep. And I, I, you know, as I'm, you know, as I mature with age and sensibility, um, I'm always a person to tell people take it fucking easy in the downhill. It's not worth risking your life in a bike race for a plastic trophy. Um, blah 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 blah. I mean, there's pro cyclists who lose their lives. They lose, um, lose an eyeball. It, it's it's you know, lose a fucking. You know, remember Balocki when he crashed and fucked his broke his pelvis in two. He never never raced again. So it's like, it, it is. You have to be willing to sacrifice it. And for me, it's just is not fucking worth it. And as much as I love bike racing, it, for me, it just ain't worth sacrificing my health for. It. I'd rather do a running race, a marathon, etc. Or um or uphill TT or stuff like that because it's just it just really ain't worth it. Now sure there's some races out there who are a lot safer. Yes, there's, there's vet, veterans races with small fields and everyone knows each other. Everyone rides each other. They're, they're, they're quite safe. But it's when the, the most dangerous races is when there's all new people. No one really knows each other. There's, there's really like people have travelled far to be there. Whatever. There's like there's a competition. So a local race with, with your mates is a lot different as well. So let's say you let's say you've done that. Let's say you you race. Go, oh, yeah, Harley, I've done like 50 races with my mates and local crits. Great. You know everyone there. You probably train with them during the week, you know? That's your local bunch. But go and do an interstate race or international race or national race with new people, and you might know what, nobody there. You might know one person. So it's a total different beast, all right? That's another thing. Not all races are the same because if you're racing the same people all the time, yeah, you know each other. But when it's like, you know, a bunch of amateurs trying to get contracts or whatever, it's fucking cutthroat, man. Male or female, it's cutthroat, so... You know, that's probably the biggest danger as well, which is when you're riding with unfamiliar people, you know. Some people are really fit but got no experience and they're in the bunch with you. They've never, ever eaten in a race. You know, they don't know what it's like to eat, to grab food, just stuff it in your gob when your heart rate's 180 and just chew it down, sc <laughs> scooping down water and shit. They've got no, they've never done that before. And so then they're, like, eating enough and they're just, like, under carb and they're like, yeah, and maybe throw in some caffeine or some pills or whatever, and they've got no idea what's going on. You know, and that's just a mad, mad cocktail of a disaster there. And then you've got all these people who've never ridden together, riding together, racing, not even just riding it, racing together for places and prize money and now all the pressure of social media. Like, it's it's insane. It's more dangerous than ever before because cycling's sort of quite popular and there's different people always coming in, a lot of noobs and stuff like that. And when you have noobs mixed with experienced riders, it is, again, a recipe for disaster. You know, Noobs of noobs is probably best. But news of experienced riders is bad because the experienced riders push push it on the downhill to sort of show off a bit, or push the pace on the flat to show off a bit, and then pff, that's then the noobs try and keep up and they got no experience doing that, and then bang, recipe for disaster. Anyway, so that's just me being daddy. Have insurance. Two, be willing to fucking die for the plastic trophy. Be willing to break your bones, have permanent scarring, defeat disfigurement, etc. Just being totally fucking honest with you, straight up. Uh, three. 
get experience, you know, do some bunch rides, ride around an oval with a friend, get your friend to bump you hard, get your friend to try and push you off your bike, you know, have stuff like that, like, have your friend stand there, your friend just pushes you, or try and push you off your bike, get pushed off your bike and see what happens, do you put your arm out and stab your collarbone, or do you learn to tuck and roll, things like that, this is, that's on the grass, that's on the oval, and if you can't do that in the oval, what's going to happen on the tarmac, when you're not expecting it, so, Get your friend, go the, around the oval, get your friend to push you, nudge you, start off lightly and build it up slowly and things like that. So get that experience. Uh, race cyclocross. If you, if you die hard races, you want, just, just do fucking cyclocross. You know, it's far safer and it's still quite fun. But uh, that is my comments and criticisms. Top five things to do. Uh, how many was that? That was, uh, that was one, get insurance. Two, be willing to die. Three, uh, get experience by racing cyclocross. Four, ride around an oval, get your mate to bump you, see what it feels like. And probably five would be, yeah, you know, bombing down the descents in the wet, just like kamikaze, kama motherfucking kazi, all right? So if you're not willing to do that in training, then you're not going to do it in racing. You'll be, you'll be so dangerous in racing. So you have to be willing to, like, you know, be cutting across the lanes in training. If you can't do that in training, then you won't be able to do it in racing. Only what we can do in training is what we can do in racing. So it, it is, uh, the only difference is maybe you can you, got, you will take more risks in a race because everyone else is doing it. But that, again, makes it a recipe for disaster. Um, so you've got your insurance, you've got willing to die, maybe you do a wheel, <laughs> right at a wheel, uh, but seriously, it is, a, it is a crazy sport, it's fantastic, but uh, it, is, it is just so dangerous, and uh, I see a lot of people out there who have no experience, no idea, they're going to do a race, and um, I don't know, I've just seen, I remember a few years ago, I think it was 2011, watching a crit, watching a girl get put in intensive care from a head injury, and ever since then, I was like, I never saw racing the same, so I'm thinking, yeah, she was a rower, Olympic row, I'm pretty sure, and she came over the cycling, heaps of fitness, you know, did a training with her and that, and then I was, and she's doing the crits, so I'm just thinking, this girl's like, you know, pretty new, but fast, so she was in the fast group, and we were the fast group, then it's even more dangerous, because you can't have time for reaction, and then she, I think she just clipped a wheel, or someone went down in front of her, I don't think it was her fault, but she had a massive head injury, and uh, that was, that was horrific, the whole vibe of the whole race, you know, it, the whole, the Victoria Park, it just went, psh, went silent, sort of thing, so it was quite unfortunate. And, but it was, it was, I guess, witnessing that, it, it made me a lot more aware that you know, anything can happen at any time. And you watch these pros crashing, and these guys are fucking experienced. A pro cyclist, racing the Tour de France, etc. Mate, the bike handling skills they have, next fucking level. So if they're crashing, you can guarantee you're going to be, self, you're going to, you're going to be crashing at some point. So that's, uh, that's, 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 that's the unfortunate reality of bike racing. Dangerous as fuck. Hopefully that's some entertainment. Hopefully that's some education. Hopefully someone doesn't break their leg now. Or doesn't die or have disfigurement because they're maybe more a bit more prepared, or maybe they've got second thoughts. Maybe thinking mm, maybe I'll stick with the running racing or cross cyclocross. Stick with cyclocross, man. That's the that's really the safest racing there. Otherwise, it is just man, it's nuts. And I, I love that I don't have to uh, risk my life anymore on the uh, you know, races and stuff like that. So if, if I ever do racing again, it'll be probably the masters, small bunches, people I know, bit of fun, bit of banter. Not technically real racing because you don't have to die for it. Stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. But once you do those national races, oh, it's a different ball game. People you don't know, energy's high. It's like fucking packs really nervous. Poof, it's uh, it's full on. Anyway, comments, questions, thoughts down below. See you on the road. Thanks for watching. Carbs, can't fuck up motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plain tank, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan motherfuckers. Cut the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.